Before I get started, I do consulting on where you can move. I'll work with you to find the perfect place for you to move to. There's more information at the end of the video about that. Now let's get started. Ah, Tampa, Florida. Wait, what? This is Tampa? Where's the bay? The nice downtown area? All the growth? We'll get to that in a minute, but there's a lot to Tampa that you probably didn't know about. Right now, we're in Old Seminole Heights, which is one of the worst parts of Tampa. As a whole, about one in five people in Tampa lives in poverty, and a lot of those people are up here on the north end. But it's not that bad. I mean, I've seen far worse worst areas in a city. But there's a good chance that as a cost of living continues to go up in the Tampa metro area, these people are going to have to make a decision about whether or not they can afford to live here anymore. But there's more to Tampa than just bad areas, of course. It's a big city. And in order to get a complete look at what Tampa's like these days, we need to look at a big map and then drill down into each area. This is Tampa today. Now, as you can see, there's lots of rundown parts of town. We saw that. But there's a lot of really nice areas here too, and it's growing super fast. It's still cheaper to live here than in many areas in South Florida, so it's a big draw for new people. As we're going to discuss, poor people are being forced out of here as newcomers with more wealth are flocking here in droves. And you're going to notice there's a lot of bridges. That's because, well, this place sits on a bay, hence the name Tampa Bay. Across from Tampa is the city of St. Petersburg, which I covered in another video. That's where all the traditional beaches are. I mean, Tampa does have some beaches, but they aren't the type of beaches with waves, per se. Driving across the bay to get into Tampa proper can be a really pretty drive. From this bridge, it takes anywhere from 20 minutes to 5 hours to get into downtown, depending on the traffic. And downtown is where we're going to start. Now, Tampa has a pretty average downtown. It's really clean and well-maintained. It costs so much to live here now that there's a lot of homeless in town, but they're not pooping on the sidewalks or camping out down here. Downtown Tampa used to be dead after 5 p.m. unless it was a weekend. It was like a ghost town down here not too long ago. But that has changed, mister. They've brought in a bunch of new reasons for people to stay downtown now with new bars and restaurants and the like. We're going to talk about the new fancy Riverwalk area soon. A lot of people are happy about the downtown improvements, but some people feel like they're dumping all the money into downtown, but they're leaving everything just north of downtown as a concrete wasteland. Tampa has a very diverse population from all over the world, and it has a lot of things for entertainment and commerce. A lot of banks and corporations have a presence here. The job growth here is above average for Florida and well above the national average. One leading website rated Tampa as the top emerging technology city in America recently. Good for you, Tampa. In order to keep up with the growth, there's a lot of building all over downtown. You can see it happening now. On some streets, you drive down and there's fancy condos on one side and old Tampa on the other. Hillsborough County, where Tampa is, has been attracting people due to the low taxes and the warm climate. Right now, Florida's the third fastest growing state in the nation, and it's also been called the most unaffordable state, too. We'll talk more about that soon. There's some areas nearby that are growing really fast, places like Wesley Chapel, Brandon, and Riverview. Just typical suburban upper middle class sprawl. With all that growth, though, traffic's getting really bad here, and the public transportation is very minimal. Now, the previous day, I had been to Pasco County, just to the north. It's growing really fast up there, too. And apparently, there's a lot of low lives that can't afford it in Tampa anymore that are moving up into Pasco County, where they squat and steal and consume drugs until they eventually die. It's all very sad, but it's a reality all over Florida these days. Back in the 1980s, downtown Tampa was a shit show. It had been in decline for decades. The waterfront area was an industrial dead zone. There were empty warehouses and vacant lots all over. You couldn't walk along the water, and there were very few pathways to even get down to the river. But today, Tampa's Riverwalk is a gem. It only took about 500 million bucks to get it there. 
Now they have an aquarium down here and a convention center and a giant hockey arena that's housed the two-time Stanley Cup champs. There's also a lot of parks and lots of bars and restaurants down here too. It took six different mayors and 40 years to get this river walk to the way it is today. And the young people have responded by moving here in big numbers. But they're gonna need a lot more room down here for all the interested parties. They're planning to add an additional 3,500 apartments and condos and 2 million feet of office space. Expect more hotels and retail in downtown Tampa as well. The goal is to turn this whole area on the Hillsborough River into a huge, walkable, modern neighborhood. Now in terms of beaches, Tampa's beaches really aren't well known, nor are they fancy by any stretch. Some are oddly located along the causeway or along the bay. The beaches are okay in Tampa. St. Pete probably has the nicest, closest, real beaches for all ye who like sand in your hair. There's also nearby Bradenton Beach. That's nice and not too far away. But Tampa does have areas where you can sit and get in the water. Of course, there's going to be many different neighborhoods here. Some are in transition. I couldn't cover them all, but one neighborhood that exemplifies Tampa's progress is Ybor City. Now, this area of town is nice, folks. There's all these boutiques and vintage shops and Latin restaurants and fun bars and coffee houses and breweries. This part of town used to be really bad for stabbings and shootings and robberies. That was like 20 years ago. Now, instead of crackheads, it's just mostly rowdy, drunk people barfing in the gutters. They've done a really good job here of fixing the place up without changing the historical feel. This area used to be known for cigar factories. They made so many cigars here, it was called the cigar capital of the world. What? This part of town is one of only two nationally recognized landmark districts in Florida. The other is St. Augustine. Anyways, locals come here in droves and people visiting the bay from all over the world come here too. So where are all the fancy areas in Tampa for people to live? Well, in Tampa proper, most of the nice neighborhoods are located in South Tampa over here on this peninsula. Right now we're on Bayshore Boulevard, which is the main north-south route in South Tampa. It's right along the bay. That sidewalk there next to the water is famous, kinda. It's actually been recognized as the longest continuous sidewalk in the world. It's a 4.5 mile long sidewalk without any interruption. That's not that long though, is it? Also along this coast, Tampa holds an annual Gasparilla Pirate Festival every January. It's a large parade that kind of takes place mostly on the water. It's held in honor of the famed pirate Jose Gaspar. He's a popular figure in Florida folklore, even though he maybe didn't even exist. But pirates were here once, I swear. Maybe that's why they call the football team the Buccaneers. Many of the fanciest homes along this stretch of land are along the water or within view of it. Home prices over here in South Tampa vary greatly, but you can expect to pay north of 800 grand for something you might like. Many are well over 2 million smackers. That's far higher than the average home price of 400,000 for Tampa proper. Home values in this part of town went up by $75,000 last year alone. That home price dwarfs the $28,000 local workers saw in raises during that time. This side of town has become very desirable for those who want upscale near the water. Just two months ago, a report came out which said Tampa's the third most popular place for potential movers. Hopefully all these newcomers don't sink the place back into the bog from which it was birthed. I'm going to show more of the fancy part of South Tampa in a bit, but let's move on to everybody's favorite part of these videos, the bad area. As I mentioned earlier, most of the bad areas of Tampa are not that bad. I mean, it's dangerous and there's lots of drugs and poverty, but visually I've seen much worse. Hi, may I help you? Hello, hey, where's the bad side of town? I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the bad side of town. Hello? Dang, must be bad. <laughs> she wasn't much help, but I already had a pretty good idea on where I wanted to go. When you look at crime maps and listen to online chatter, it's clear there's large pockets on the north side of Tampa which lack desirability. A lot of the north end of Tampa is below average when it comes to income levels and above average in crime. 
the number of violent crimes has spiked over the past few years, and a lot of that happens on this side of Tampa. And the murder rate in Tampa hasn't just grown, it's outpaced the state and national averages by a lot. Tampa saw 50 murders last year, and that's the highest in 30 years. But overall, Tampa's crime is child's play compared to our nation's really dangerous cities. Overall, one in five Tampinos live in poverty. That's slightly higher than the national average, but one reason rent's gone up so much. Rent's gone up 35% year over year here. That's the highest rent increase in the country, everyone. And the increase in home prices isn't going to help. While the homes here are modestly priced in the mid 200,000s, the overall increase in the cost of living is pushing people out. I'll bet one day, a lot of these lower class folks are going to wind up in the panhandle and then probably eventually wind up in Alabama. It's something I've talked about in other videos in this series. While this area lacks affordability, it doesn't lack strip clubs. That's a big thing here. Tampa has a reputation as being one of the strip club capitals of the nation, people. Look at the map of all the strip clubs in Tampa. My, oh my, oh my. That's a lot of teases. Did you know the average stripper makes $22 an hour? <laughs> Mappy, you're using ZipRecruiter to determine stripper salaries? That's LOL. It looks like some strippers make hardly any money and some strippers make a lot of money. And Nebraska strippers make a lot of money? How do you explain that, Mappy? Maybe farmers like naked chicks? Over time, you can expect much of this area to be improved. But at what cost? To thwart the rising cost of living, the city of Tampa's talked about rent control and zoning changes. So then more housing? But where? Maybe they need to stop the corporations from buying up all the homes and renting them out. I heard that something like one in four home purchases in Tampa are by corporations, not people. There's more people moving to Tampa than Miami these days. If all this growth continues, you can expect Hillsborough County to become one of the fastest growing counties in the United States at some point. But you can't blame people for wanting to live here. It's a nice place. And as you know, I often look for negative things to point out. Tampa just doesn't have a lot of issues you see in other major cities. There's an emerging homeless problem, but it's hidden. It's clean. There aren't tents and graffiti all over. There aren't druggies wandering around downtown. There isn't rioting extended COVID lockdowns, defunding the police, smashed car windows, etc, etc, etc. Sorry, Tampa people who don't want more growth. Even if I didn't praise you, they're still coming. Like it or not. Okay, folks, we got a special guest, and I mean special guest, because joining me right now to talk about Tampa, Florida, is Randy from Tampa Aerial Media. I'm sure you've seen his videos. What's going on, Randy? Yeah, hey, hey there. Good, good talking to you. Yeah, I, uh, I, I love, um, I love your state um, in early May, but I do not like your state in the summer. I have to say that. What, what's it like to live there? You know, how's how's Tampa changed? I guess that's that's the first question. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's changed. You no, know, it's grown. T Tampa has done a lot with their downtown area with the uh, Riverwalk. You know, and, and in filming other cities, I like 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 looking at Jacksonville. You know, J Jacksonville promises things that they're going to do, and it never gets done. It's kind of like their uh, head coach, Urban Meyer. That's kind of a classic example. How they have these big dreams, and then it just falls through. But whereas Tampa has these big dreams, and and it ends up coming true. Uh, the the Riverwalk is just one of the best river walks in this country uh, at least uh, of the cities that i've filmed uh the river walk is just beautiful uh, lots of things to do great waterside restaurants and modern eateries like with the uh, Ar armature works great modern food hall right on the uh, river walk uh so and then and then you got uh sparkman's wharf too another nice modern place where, where you have a there's a big uh, brewery there and uh, and lots of good eateries right on the water yeah so all that river walk is kind of newish that downtown that i saw it was very pretty yeah yeah yep yep what yeah yeah it's it, i mean 
it, it, it's been in the making for about 15 years. Uh, but, but, but now we're, we're really starting to see the fruits of it as things are, are really being finished now. And then, and then you got T- Tampa Water Street, which is on the Riverwalk. And I guess Sparkman's Wharf is really part of Tampa Water Street. But, uh, you know, Tampa Water Street, you know, for, for the last – that that started, I think, about five years ago. You know, and for the longest time, all you saw was a lot of con- construction. But, but now you're starting to see those buildings being finished. And, and, so, and so now it's, it's starting to get really nice. How crowded is it getting there? I hear cost of living's through the roof. People are having a free yeah. Tampa. What are you all pissed off about all the growth, or are you in, you you in the uh, Yeah, you know, I'm I'm embracing it because I, I understand. You know, a lot of people they, they focus on the negatives. Yeah, when an area is popular and great, more people want to come there, and more people move there. So so as a result, yeah, your traffic's going to get worse. Your crime's going to you know get a little bit worse that's, that's just the nature of it more people there's there's going to be a little bit more crime but but tampa is, is still you know yeah yeah traffic's get, getting bad i mean i there's no, no ways around it but it, it, it isn't miami you know miami is far worse and, and even crime it, it it isn't as bad as what a lot of people try to make it out to be you know you, you go to i, I guess because i'm 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 from California, and, and that's where crime is really bad. Uh, you know, you got California, Houston, Chicago, and, and even in Atlanta lately has has had a, a you know, that's that, that's kind of crime you kind of want to keep an eye on. But, but Tampa, it, you know, it's just because there's more people. There's going to be a little bit more uptick in, in uh, crime. So, so but, but the positive side is, is you, you got more to do now, you know, great waterside Places like I mentioned, the Riverwalk, you know, the, with more money coming into the area, you know, there's just going to be more more money for development, you know, and, and, and more things to do. You also got Mid Tampa too, which is kind of near the the Raymond James Stadium. So mm-hmm. I look at you know there, there's two sides of it, and a lot of people, the people who live there, you know, yes, see the uptick in traffic and but but you don't realize, you know, because I film other cities, you don't realize well, there's a lot of positives. You know, if 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 you didn't want no crime or nothing, then I guess you'd move to South Dakota, you know. But That's but right. an area that has yeah, an area has a lot of good things to do. You know, there's just gonna be more people that wanna share and, and all those good things. So Tampa's brutally hot. <laughs> Um, and, and then I, I also compare it with Orlando. Or, or Orlando and Tampa are kind of very similar. Both cities are grown. Both have a lot to do, a lot of good nightlife. Um, you know, but but you know, Orlando's more inland, so Orlando is even going to be even hotter than, than Tampa. Uh, but but or, Orlando and Tampa are, are two similar cities in that they're, they're both growing, and. Uh, you know, uh, and a lot of people are, are moving in. And then, but, you know, then as a result, traffic's, you know, is, is going to get worse. I, I did see North Tampa. Uh, it's rough. Uh, it, it pretty much begins seven, eight blocks north of downtown. And it, it's a pretty extensive uh, area of, of, you know, bad pockets in Tampa. Would you, would you say that that area – has grown or is shrinking over time? Well, well, I I'd say that that area is kind of improving a little bit because yeah, if if you're talking about know, just north of downtown is Tampa Heights, and uh, you know, and the, 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 they're doing a lot trying to keep the affordable housing. I, I mean, that's that's been tough lately, affordable housing. But but they they, they tried to clean up a lot of the Tampa. In fact, the uh, our Armature works. If if you visited that area, that's that's the happening, you know, entertainment eating place. That's kind of on the north edge of downtown, and that borders Tampa Heights. Uh, you know, so so if you would have visited that area like five years ago, I mean, it all was bad slums and North Tampa. So so a lot a lot of that has improved. They they torn down some of the old housing and created new 
do house and, and try tried to make it as affordable as possible. So so I I I I'd say even in that north I mean I, I don't necessarily call that North Tampa. It's north of downtown. When you say North Tampa, you're you're probably talking way north like Tampa Palms. Um, and, and that area is is a nice area, although it's it's getting really crowded. But 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 yeah, Tampa Heights, it's north of downtown yeah you know there's there, there's some areas i mean it's an older area but but they, they've made improvements in, in the last few years and, and this is where where you know because tampa is growing more money is coming into it more more tax money so so they're able to do things like that and clean up some of the the bad slummy areas good yeah i i, I could see that that area is probably improving a little bit and I can see that it's very valuable real estate. So I'd hope that they would probably, you know, try to at least keep the crime down so they can keep it as nice as possible until folks clean it up a little bit. It, I've seen worse. Yeah. Um, it was quite large uh, in, in size, the, the extent of the kind of a um, little bit beat up part of Tampa, but I didn't feel like I was in any danger. Now I've been all over the place, Randy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have. Yeah, I've, I've watched your videos. Yeah, you, you do a great job. So Tampa's a cakewalk. Um, where about the nice part of town? Where would, where's the fancy part of town where people, not the mansions on the damn bay where, you know, famous people yeah. live, but the, the upscale, upper middle class chunk, northeast, uh, west, south, where, where, where would you send people? Yeah, probably would be either North, North, North Tampa, like I mentioned, Tampa Palms area, uh, or where, where I live, which is east of Tampa in Brandon. Now, Brandon is getting real crowded. In fact, Brandon, I think, is the largest unincorporated city in, in the USA, if, I, if, if I'm getting that right. Um, Sounds right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, but Brandon gets just super, super crazy. In fact, whenever I want to go anywhere, the hardest part is getting out of Brandon and, and getting on the interstate. Um, and, and and there's there's ritzy areas just south of Brandon, like Riverview. Uh, there's a Fish Hawk. Fish Hawk is a real yeah. That's that, that that's definitely your upper middle class neighborhood. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a nice area, but. But, but the problem is the infrastructure hasn't been able to keep up with the growth, you know, because the, they build these new c communities and yeah. condos around around Fishhawk and schools. And, and it, traffic is just a pain, you know, in the, you know, in the middle of the day when school is letting out. Unfortunately, because of my job, but like you, I, I edit for a living. So I'm, I'm able to usually, you know, de determine when I want to be on the roads and when I'm not. So I, I make sure I avoid the hours from about four, four to six because, yeah, because yeah, traffic is just killer. But, yeah. you know, that's, that's part of being in an area that, that, that grows. You know, it, it, you, you, you know, the people, if you want to avoid the traffic, you kind of got to move further out from the city. If somebody was going to, move to Florida and you get a thousand people a day moving there. Um, and they wanted to know where's the best place to go that, that is going to be, you know, safe, the most, most affordable and chillest best place to go. If you had to pick a couple places in Florida, where would you say to go? Yeah, well, I, 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 I'd say Lake County, uh, you know, it, it, it's inland, but you aren't too far from either coast. You're about an hour's drive from the West Coast or the East Coast. But Lake County is just north of Orlando, um, and, and it's got these great little cities. Uh, Jupiter, Vero Beach to Jupiter is, is the, the Treasure Coast. And, and that's a really good area because it's not as crowded as the Gold Coast. I, I, I find with the beaches, if you want to live near the beaches, there's better access to the beaches on the East Coast than there is on the West Coast. Yeah, no, I get you. So what's your, uh, a lot of people probably watch your channel. You, you do an amazing job of, of covering the state of Florida from above. Um, if you had to pick, 
the prettiest place in Florida that you've flown your drone over, uh, what place would that be? Oh, wow. The, the prettiest. Um, well, fr from the air, I mean, Miami Beach would probably be the prettiest. But, uh, but you know, when you get down on ground level, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crowded and a lot of hassles to, to deal with. But, but yeah, for, for, from, from, from the air, it's probably pretty because of the turquoise water. I have to ask you, where's the uh, worst beach in Florida that you think you've ever been to? Oh, uh, uh, the, the worst beach? Um, let, let me think. Uh, golly, I, I, it's hard to say a worst beach. In, in Florida. Um, Mine would be Daytona. Uh, Are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting. That's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. You can get my email in the description to find out how I can help you find your perfect relocation. And I can also help you find your new house too. Email me and I'll work with you. I'm not just helping you figure out where to move, but I can help you find your perfect home too. That's right. I know awesome, reliable agents all over the country, and I'd love to connect you to somebody who can help you search for that perfect home. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great. You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. You can also now buy my songs on iTunes and other formats. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And remember, while we all might have different views, we should all be nice to each other and try to make the U.S. a better place in a positive way. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.